bird of prey. That sounds extremely interesting. But we will talk about it in a few moments. Greetings to all our fans. Welcome back to our channel. This will be the second episode of our series that we're going to talk about taming a bird of prey. Well, I will tell you that taming it's a technique that predicts getting back the hawk to a balanced psychological state and that is stress-free. So now the hawk is armed with the jesses, the swivel, the safety string and above all the hood which is not an easy thing to do especially if you've never done it before. You should get some help from your trusted breeder or your master falconer. Having all this done, it's time to bring your hawk back home and make it comfortable on his perch. So secure him with his string, but here begins a very important phase that we need to be extremely precautious by not doing any harm to our bird. You're going to see that you're going to develop your attention in a very unique way. You will see that down the road. So let's start among the first things to do, and that is monitor your hawk's weight. Using a kitchen scale for food, note every day in a notebook his weight and must kept always updated in the following days. Another important and interesting thing to do, bear in mind that the hawk needs to be kept on the glove as long as possible. And I mean even three or four hours per day. So you have plenty of time to do some plans in your mind, but be careful, pay attention. So having your hawk on the glove, take a feather or a pen long 20-25 centimeters and start slightly to touch him on the breast, on the back, on the legs. Like that, you will give him the first touch from outside, that in nature it doesn't have it. It may happen that during this exercise, the hawk throws himself from our glove and hangs with his head down, but with much love and cautious, you bring it back very slowly on your glove, avoiding by pulling it from the jesses and making sure that we don't do any injuries. Okay, now where the hawk is not struggling anymore and it's more calm and relaxed, it's time for an interesting exercise and that is feeding him. Nevertheless, feeding a hawk with his hood on seems to be an impossible thing. But instead, I already told you that the hood can do magic and it brings the peace of the mind into the animal psyche. Okay, another tip. The hawk needs to stay as long as possible on his perch outside. But it's always recommended to unhood it during the night. Like that you don't scare him off. Wonderful! With all these techniques and methods, we also learn body language. Because in nature, fast and unpredictable movement for them it's a synonymous of danger, therefore the falcon will attack or escape. So we're going to use this knowledge of body language in our advantage. Therefore, gaining our hawk attention, we're going to use slow movements and less eye contact and not sudden movements to scare him off. It was a pleasure having your attention again. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like that we can keep you updated and entertained with our future videos. See you soon, thank you!